can I leave my diving board on my swimming pool for the winter? You know, this is something that's been coming up a lot more and more in recent years, and it's because the laws regarding diving boards have changed. And most residential swimming pools, almost all residential swimming pools, really lack the shape and the depth needed to safely have a diving board. And so more and more pool service companies are refusing to service diving boards. And well, what does that mean? It means that maybe you used to take your diving board off in the winter and then reinstall it in the spring every year if you live in a seasonal area. And the pool service company that closes your pool every year, they've told you they don't want to do that anymore. And you're kind of coming to the internet now and saying, well, they told me it's fine to leave it on. Is it fine? It actually is. You can totally leave your your diving board on. It's not something that needs to come on, on and off every year. In fact, I specifically prefer to leave my diving board on, like ignoring this liability aspect of the last person to touch it all together. I just don't think it's something that needs to go on and off all the time. You know, it's giant three quarter and one inch nuts that hold that thing on there. And they really don't come on and off easily. So I prefer to put a diving board on, leave it on. If anything, just go ahead and wrap it in a small tarp with some bungee cords for the winter season. And, you know, if you find that maybe your diving board looks a little worse for wear in the springtime, just go ahead and pressure wash it. And that'll pretty much make it look like new again. And so my opinion is, is that diving boards don't need to come in. And further to that, that liability thing that I mentioned, since most pools really aren't big enough and deep enough for diving boards, if you take one off and put one on and you're a professional pool company, well, now you're kind of responsible for it. What if somebody gets hurt in that pool and then, you know, there's an investigation and it's determined that this pool company put the diving board on the pool just a few weeks ago and now somebody's hurt? Well, the pool company should have known that that pool is not big enough and that pool is not deep enough. And that's why kind of people take a hands-off approach to diving boards these days. If you have one, it's probably grandfathered in and you're probably better off just to leave it and not touch it for most swimming pools. And in terms of can you leave it on for the winter, is it okay? I have no problem with that myself. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.